Thank you so much. Hello, my name is Wytold, and I just played for you a brand new song released on my EP called Positive Eyes, and that song is titled The Get Down. I'm really happy to be performing for you on the six-string electric cello. It has the traditional four strings of A, D, G, and C, as well as a low F string in the bass range and a high E with no body that lets me get all the way up into the violin range with the greatest of ease. And I grew up playing the acoustic traditional cello, standard classical repertoire in strings class, uh, youth orchestras, private lessons, and I was absolutely in love with the classical repertoire. I wanted to be a classically performing cellist. But I ran into a frequent scenario of being in the car with my mom driving on the way to youth orchestra and listening to the classical radio station, say, maybe it was Haydn Symphony number 48 in G major, I don't know, something like that. And really wanting to flip the radio dial to something a little more contemporary, something that had a groove and a beat, and uh, maybe a verse cor chorus song structure and some repetition, something I could hum along to. And so when I started writing my own original music, I realized that I wanted to harness that classical technique, but blend it with the contemporary music that I loved listening to on the radio. And that led me to explore the six-string electric cello, plugging into pedals, sampling myself, my own live playing, um, and recording it such that it sounds like a full band sound that I can jam out to and do solos or mel melodies on top of. And the thought that I was sampling myself struck me as very similar to what DJs and hip-hop artists do all the time with other records that they like listening to. They sample the record of the, the other artist, I'm sampling myself, I thought, what would it sound like if I did a classical or classically inspired version of a hip hop song? And I covered those samples on my instrument, um, but put my own spin on it. Or if I even blended it with a favorite classical melody. And so that started the project Biggie, Beethoven, Busta, and Bach. <laughs> I just la launched a Kickstarter video earlier today for that original album concept where I take instrumental covers of rap songs and blend them with remixes of classical pieces. So here's a little taste of how that might work for the, uh, the song Eminem's Lose Yourself blended with Tchaikovsky's 1812 Overture. Just a little snippet. Thank you so much. So exploring popular songs on the electric cello for me was pretty much always an attempt to recreate guitar techniques that I learned in college, because in college I had really bad carpal tunnel syndrome, couldn't play the cello, got back into music through learning acoustic guitar, simple singer-songwriter folk, finger-picking kind of things. But I realized I was much better at playing the cello and wanted to explore how can I 
recreate that finger picking, that chord progression, the strumming, and the improvisation. And I think I've done a little bit of that, but maybe not, you know, there's plenty of room to grow in that area. But luckily enough, I have an incredibly talented uh, guitarist friend joining me today, Jerry Tolk on electric guitar. He has a background in jazz and funk. Round of applause for Jerry. And we're going to do a new original piece that's also on that EP I mentioned. This one's called Gemini. <laughs> Thank you so much. Jerry Tolk. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce uh, one of my, my richest and most fulfilling and deeply artistically engaging collaborations to date. Uh, my work with Christopher K. Morgan and artists. They are an incredible contemporary dance company based out of Rockville at American Dance Institute. Tonight we're gonna perform a few excerpts from the evening length piece, Limited Visibility, which we will be premiering the live electric cello musical score for in the end of May. So here is Christopher K. Morgan, an artist. <laughs> 